you know some people they don't see red they see purple they see orange they see magenta if it's not green it's a red flag he does not want to marry you after five years of being with them y'all never talked about getting married or did you just think you could change him because he's your man What's good? What's poppin'? What's Gucci? How y'all doing? From the title, we're gonna be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me today. I think the last time I did like a chit chat, get ready with me was like, I don't know, a long time ago. I don't really remember. Yeah, all the products that I used in this video will be down in the description box because obviously I'm not gonna be showing you the products or telling you what I used. First thing we're gonna talk about is being positive or how to stay positive da -da -da. so I'm just gonna say I'm not the best person to answer that question because um ew being positive is actually not an easy thing to do I'm not gonna lie cause last year I was not the most positive person no like I was really not positive last year last year I was very unpositive I create my vocabulary on this channel by the way just in case this is your first time I'm probably gonna be saying a lot of English words that are not in the dictionary so I call it the chemistionary <laughs> so being positive is not easy but um, I think a lot of people just think because I laugh and I'm always geeky kiki like laka laka and kicking up and down and cracking jokes I'm not like ever sad. Baby, I cry all the time. Look at me. My tears are even coming in my eye and I'm not even sad. Morning sometimes I'll cry. In the evening sometimes I'll cry. Every time I'll cry about something. Okay, that's not the most positive thing to do. This is something I'm still working on and getting into but a lot of times I always crack jokes just to like hide behind my pain because it's not that I can cry every day. It's not every time I should be crying, you know. Sometimes just laugh. And you know my jokes is literally like behind that joke is a pain just just know that I'm getting to a very good place in my life and I'm so thankful to God for you know letting me giving me the the open arms to come back and find him again because honestly getting closer to God has really helped me be really positive my faith has definitely kept me in a good space and just like praying regularly I'm not gonna lie last year I probably didn't pray that much I'm not gonna lie to you I wasn't praying as much as I should. I definitely wouldn't be here without God. I definitely wouldn't even be in this life without God. So yeah, that's how I stay positive. Reading the word praying, being around people that love me, being around people that I love. Laugh, I laugh every day. You know, as much as I cry, I also laugh. So try to balance yourself. Balance the laugh, balance the cry. <laughs> yeah. So the next topic is Oh, how did I manifest my man? I think I've gotten that question before. Yeah, somebody has asked me this question before in my DMs. Like, where did I find my man from? Like, what Amazon link? I don't know if you remember, like, a video. Like, I think this is two years ago at this point. I don't even remember. It should be two years ago when I released that video. I basically talked about the list. Every woman in, in this world, like, I feel like every woman, every man, they have, like, their checklist of the type of woman or man that they're looking for. I remember talking in that video and I was like, you know before i used to just settle for if a man just checks two out of the the things in my list i'll be like oh this is the man for me before i realized that uh, girl take your time okay ain't no rush about nothing it's better to marry good than marry ellie because if you marry ellie and the man is a disastrous human being and he ends up in divorce what was the point what's the point so don't settle when I sat down to create a list of what I want in a man and I would pray about it, but not quite long afterwards, God decided to bring the man that I have now into my life that I'm very, very grateful to God for. Like, I always talk about it all the time and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it, but I don't care. 
back to what I was saying. I had a list and I literally prayed to God about it and I said, you know, God, I, I know I've been doing things my way, but I'm trying to do it your way, the right way this time. And fast forward to meeting my man and taking my time, you know, or whatnot, I realized slowly but surely this man crossed everything on the list. Honestly, the power of prayer, I don't think people understand the whole power of prayer, but the power of prayer and faith, like put the two of them together because faith without works is what? Okay, read your Bible if you didn't know the answer to that. <laughs> that's, that's literally what brought my man or whatever. Shout out to God and shout out to my man. Hey, boo. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is the topic of relationships. <laughs> relationships. Before we go into the topic, we're going to also like talk about green flags. You know, things to look for, red flags and things like that to look for in a man. Honestly, I don't even know if I can sit down here and talk about red flags because something that might be a red flag to me might not be a red flag to you. I've kind of started to realize that. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like there should be a generic, general red flag for every woman outside. You get what I'm saying? The biggest red flag for me would be lack of communication. Like, come on now. We are grown. We are grown people. You know what I'm saying? We all know what we want. We all know what we desire out of life. You get what I'm saying? Sorry, my British, British English is going to start sipping in. My accent is going to be coming in very shortly. Just give it a second. It comes and goes. We should all know what, what um, red flags are. Do you know some people, they don't see red. They see purple. They see orange. They see magenta. If it's not green, it's a red flag. But whatever it is to you, a man that does not communicate should be like the number one thing that you should throw away in the baskets. That's one. The next thing obviously would be a spiritual man. Is he close to God? I mean, obviously that's the first that's the first part. But don't get mistaken for somebody who's close to God and goes to church every Sunday. Because baby, him going to church every Sunday does not mean anything. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? Him going to church every Sunday does not mean anything. Because he's in the security department at church does not mean anything. Does he read the Bible? Does he pray for you? Does he intercede for you? Hmm? Hmm? That's the question you should be asking. Don't be asking me silly questions like, oh, He doesn't take me to lunch. He doesn't take me to... Baby, take yourself to lunch. Because I don't be understanding why... Some women really be expecting men to be doing all these great, great and mighty things for them. And it's like, you want all of these things. Why don't you try by providing those things for yourself first? And maybe you're going to find somebody who's going to match your energy. It's giving some of you are dating boys. Let's start getting into the era of dating men. Okay, men that are intentional men that communicate what they want men that tell you from the beginning what type of time they're on not after five years of wasting your time and they tell you oh i i never told you i wanted to be in a relationship i don't think a lot of people these days or a lot of women these days are asking the right question sometimes i don't know if women actually have a sit down talk heart to heart like what do y'all be talking about in your dating stages how did you not know he does not want to marry you after five years of being with them? Y'all never talked about getting married? Or did you just think you could change him because he's your man? Don't be out here thinking you can change a man. Baby, first things first, you cannot change anybody. You can barely even change yourself. Your character is terrible. You've been having a bad character all your life you have never changed it so what makes you think that because you have a man in your life he's going to change for you that has not changed for yourself 
people need to take that mindset off their mind in 2024 okay don't be out here wasting your time this is a new year okay if you have been with this man and it's just like i, I just want to know what kind of questions do y'all be asking each other but back to what i was saying about you being in a relationship for 15 years i don't how do people even 15 years I mean don't get me wrong you know at the end of the day i don't know your relationship dynamic don't i'm not a relationship expert don't take my word for it and then go home and say you know what i'm done we are not in this i don't know your relationship dynamic please don't take my word and travel with it you should know the direction that you are heading you know what i'm saying you should know okay if this is just a situation ship a link up ship a partnership a worker ship a pay the bills together ship you know what i'm saying you need to know where you're working towards have um 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 tangible conversations you know what i'm saying conversations that have head and tail like i i don't know if people are really running away from that conversation of saying like okay what are we doing what's going on what is our goal in this relationship for the next few years do we plan on getting married um do you plan on like what 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 is it what are we doing i don't know if people still have those conversations anymore because i mean the way the relationships are looking like are like like these days like the rate of the divorce ship and um, and separation ship i don't think people talk about those things i, I don't know i don't it, but that's just my observation don't take my word for it obviously because i don't know what i'm saying in conclusion <laughs> hold on i gotta do my eyebrows real quick I, I can't really conclude anything if my eyebrows are not concluded. Cutie. In conclusion, what you should be looking for in a man or in a relationship, my dear, figure out your season. Figure out what season you are in. Before you just be jumping from one relationship to another. If you just got out of a relationship, try to find time to rediscover yourself. Because sometimes you might think you don't need any break in between. But a lot of times you do. You need time to re-understand what you want or what you're looking for in a relationship. Because sometimes you don't even know what that is. And that's why you're just entertaining anybody that comes to you. But once you realize what you want or what you 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 deserve as a woman as a person um it's gonna be so much easier for you to filter out the nonsense and nonsense qualities of a scallywag of a man that wants to come and talk to you figure out your list as well you know what you want out of that relationship or whatever your next relationship is gonna be that's it that's all i gotta say let's spray our face because i was literally about to forget that I didn't want this video to be too deep because it's just a chit chat get ready with me i wanted it to be like a facetime call you know you're talking to your home girl your big sister little sister i don't know what it is but anyway thank you so much for joining me again on another video on this beautiful monday i will see you in my next video love you guys